Hi folks, um, another one on the workbench. What we've got here is a British, what is he, let me have a look. He's just reading off the Perry's. Colonel in round hat, can be used for Egypt, India, East Indies and the West Indies. 1801 to 1808, that's what the Perry's say, but I just like the look of the figure with his little round hat, sort of half a top hat. And I thought, yeah, it's red, it's white, it's British. I hardly do any British, I'll have a go. So that's what I'm going to do. So the horse, I, I didn't bother to film this, it's just my basic brown. Uh, I put flesh wash on the brown to uh, stain it and I put the blue saddle cloth on. Uh, so I've got to, and I've put the fetlocks on. I've got to do the nose and the leather work. Um, but as I say, it's just a basic horse. Um, the figure, I've done nothing to it, and what I'm going to do is put my standard brown wash paint, my Valspar brown. I use um, a colour called Boston Brown Bread. It's one of those tester pots, inexpensive, and it's gunky, and it's wonderful, and does lots of things. So I'll do that, and uh, when that's dry, I'll come back to you, show you what I'm going to do. Okay, so uh, what we've got is uh, finished the horse almost while I was waiting for the figure to dry. Um, and the black leather work, black sheepskin, so I think I should dry brush perhaps a London grey or something on the saddle just to make it look different to the sheepskin. Uh, horse's eyes, fetlocks, nose are done. I've just got to put the metal work on the reins and the pistol holsters. And we've got the figure. Is nice and dry, and I've just got my blue paint out. I'm going to do the blue turn backs on the collar, the collar, the front, and the cuffs. Turn back on the back of the coat are white, so we'll leave those. But, um, yep, that's what I'm going to be doing, so I'll do that and then I'll come back to you. Okay, so where we are now, the uh, as I said, previous horse is done. Uh, the rider, I've just added all the blue. There's not much collar, front bib, turn back collars, cups, um, <coughs> excuse me. And I've added the dark red sash, which I've used a scarlet red, but it's very dark. But uh, I think that'll look good for the sash. And that'll probably have a, oh, I don't know, mix that with a bit of white or something just for a, a dry brush. But uh, that's where we are at the moment. I'm now going to, I think, do the white breeches, which I'm going to use. I'm going to have a go with what have we got here. Let's have a look. What have we got? Iraqi sand. I may use Iraqi sand as a first coat, or I may use, what else have we got? Tan yellow, I'm not sure. Iraqi sand or tan yellow would be a base coat, followed by, I might be sneaky and add in then an off-white. We've got an off-white there. We've also got the, oops, do that out of the way. We've also got that white white, <laughs> basic white. So I've got to play around with those four shades to do the, uh, the breeches front and back. I'll get those done. Um, I think I'll leave the belts until after I've got all the red finished. Or I may do them, just depends how I feel. Um, this thing is really fast. I didn't think it was going to be quite this fast. I mean, uh, yeah, I'm cracking on. So, there we go. So, I'll come back to you when I've got something done, which is likely to be the breeches. Okay, so here we are back. What I went with was Iraqi sand. That's the first coat on the trousers. And I went with the off-white. And then I went with white. I know, I know. Showing off three uh, three colours, but I felt that I needed to do that to get it to look right. Now it looks pretty good to me. I don't know if you're seeing that. I haven't obviously done completely underneath because there's no point as it sits on the horse. Now we'll get the horse there. So that's what we see of the breeches basically. That leg, that leg, 
and the rear, apart from his rump of the man, you can virtually see no, no leg at all. So, that's where we are. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I think it's going to have to be red. Well, it's either the gold work, um, and there's gold on top of the red, so that would be more sensible to paint the red. I think, yeah, I think I'm going to have to go for the red. Unless I do the flesh, but uh, I think the red's calling me out. I've obviously got a large area of white turned back, but I wanted to do the red first before I did the white. Yeah, so I think we'll go for red, unless I completely change my mind. So I'll get that sorted and uh, get back to you. Okay, right, we've got... Uh, Little man is well on the way. As you can see there, the red. I used a, a three shade there. Um, as I say, I used a flat red for the base coat, then used a dark vermilion, and then we used bright orange for the third coat. So you get this orangey sort of glow to the red, uh, more on the back and the uh, sides of the tunic. Here and here, not much in here. We've got these sword, uh, the uh, scabbard, and the, the attaching straps. To do. And obviously, we've got the dark sash, which is in between all of that. But uh, yep, I'm pleased with that. It's looking as I wanted it to look. Um, yeah, looking looking pretty good. So I think now I'm going to possibly do. I'm thinking the white turn backs and the white on the belt. So that'll really bring it together. So the breech is already done. Um, I've just got to work out, I think I'm going to go for, excuse my mask, it's hitting again. I think I'm going to go for a two shade white on the belts and the turn back using the, uh, what are we going to use? Yeah, we're going to use off, <laughs> as it falls out, we're going to use off white and white. I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, and I'll probably do those, the belts, and get the gold epaulets done. And the uh, gorget at the front here, get those. <coughs> I'm going to be well on my way then. Uh, I shall probably leave the hat and the boots until he's glued on the horse. Or well, I shall paint the uh, inside of the boots, which I normally do, stick him on the horse. Uh, then the hat, um, hat can be done once he's on. Uh, but he's, uh, he's really coming together now. I shall just sit him on the horse so you can see what he looks like. That's our man. He is looking the part, I think. Yep, definitely looking the part. Um, fine British gentleman on his nag. Anyway, I'll get those sorted and come back to you when I'm done. Right, here we are back. Um, he's looking quite dandy now. As you can probably see there, he's got all his all his gold trim everywhere. The white belts are done uh, around the sword and the top of the sword's done. Obviously the bottom of the sword's scabbard and the boots will be done next uh, before I glue him on his horse. Um, I think I might do the hands and face and the hair flesh and hair tones. Um, but I think I'm then going to glue him. So face, hair, hands and glue him on after the boots have been done. Um, yeah, I think that's the next stage, leaving the hat and the plume till last. But uh, yeah, very pleased with how he's looking. As I say, I hardly ever paint British, but I'm actually quite impressed with how how good I've done. <coughs> Blow my own trumpet, but yeah, I'm well pleased. The red's coming out uh, really good. I've got to put uh, flesh wash on uh, to shade it. Uh, but once I've got the flesh wash on, I think that's going to be my next stage, uh, getting them glued. Anyway, I'll get that all sorted and come back to you. Right, finishing stages. We have the man, I've done his boots, his boots are done, he's had a, a flesh wash on the face, hair, uh, the gold bits, uh, the epaulets and the red, of course, not the white. 
and we'll just do a mat of varnish on those. I think I keep sometimes I uh, flesh wash the white, but I think in this case I just want to leave it. Um, the hat I've obviously left because I'm holding the plume in my fingers, if you can just see it. Um, his boots are dry, so I'll touch them up when they're glued on, but uh, a scabbard is done. I've just got to put gold work on that when it's. Uh, when it's glued on. I've gone with a black leather. I've noticed the British seem to have this black leather and this silver scabbard, so uh, I've gone with a black leather scabbard. Just carefully sit them on. That's what he's going to look like when he's done, virtually. So he's in a, he's in a good state of, uh, of nearly there. I'll uh, super glue him on, then do the hat, the plume, and stirrups, and just touch up the boots. Silver on the stirrups and the uh, spurs and silver work on the horse, which I think I'll do that before I glue it on, but uh, we are close to being finished. Right, I'll get that done and I'm back to you. Right, I think we are finished. I've checked and double checked. It's always the same <clears throat> when you go through these. You, know, you think you're finished and then you go... Oh dear, what about this and what about that? But I've done everything I can find. I've just done the hat. Um, I'm not sure, there might be a little brass um, clip at the bottom of the plume. I'll try and find that if there is. That's a tiny little bit I've got to do. But other than that, you see, there we go, there's another piece. Anyway, other than that, everything's on. Stirrups are on the things on, <laughs> I always forget, the spurs, the spurs are on, the horse's painted eyes are done, lots of gold trim, yes he's looking very dandy in his top hat, um, I'm pleased with him, as I say it's the first one of these I've ever done, uh, it wasn't hard at all, actually quite enjoyable for a change, uh, nice lot of red on the back, all the different shades and the sash being a different shade as well. Um, yeah, well pleased I am. Um, obviously I shall need to uh, now get it based up, so I'll get that sorted. And uh, that'll be the finish of another figure. Alright, okay, I'll be back when that's all done. Oh, there we go. He's all done. The man is done. Uh, yep. Based up, matte varnish, and I put him on there. This time on a desert, I thought a desert base would be appropriate. I mean, that'd be good enough for the West Indies, India, as well as the Middle East. Um, yeah, fun to do, interesting to do. I've not done one like this before, so no problems though at all painting it. I did enjoy the, the back of the coat, I don't know if it really shows. Let me see if we can get closer. That really shows up, does it? The back of the coat. Yeah, really good on the shading. It was uh, just a focus, a bit of focus, come on. Anyway, yeah. There we go. So that's my man. Whoops, he's all done. And I uh, hope it was of use to, uh, to somebody. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Anyway, thanks a lot and. Uh, Bye for now.